A new study found that microplastic particles make their way to the male penis and are linked with erectile dysfunction. This is a very disturbing study because many people still consume water out of plastic bottles, consume ultra-processed packaged food that are wrapped in the very plastics that have recently been detected in human penile tissue. Now, what was unique about this study is six subjects underwent a prosthesis for their erectile dysfunction. The ages of these six subjects ranged between 46 years old up to 81 years old. Now, while they were under the knife undergoing this prosthesis to supposedly enhance their ability to maintain an erection, the investigators thought, well, why don't we take some tissues from the penile tissue and see if there are detectable levels, quantitatively and qualitative uh, analysis was done to detect the presence of microplastic particles. Now, there were six primary microplastic particles detected, polystyrene, polyethylene chloride, PVC, polymethyl acrylate, which I don't really know where that is derived from, and polyethylene triterpthalene. There's a lot of these different compounds, but mostly phthalates and polypropylene and polyethylene were the most prevalent detected microplastic particles that are less than 100 micrometers in their size. Now, that's what's really interesting about this is over the past 15 years, there's been this argument that these microplastics from disposable coffee cups, plastic water bottles, uh, as well as single-use plastic like fast food wrappings and uh, processed food containers and so forth, these are too small to really be significant in terms of their health ramifications. But as this study and recently published studies found, we reviewed this in March of this year, the New England General, Journal of Medicine article found the presence of uh, microplastic particles and phthalates in the carotid artery plaque. These were individuals that were, again, undergoing a routine procedure to uh, de-plaque, if you will, the carotid artery. And uh, as part of the, of the study, uh, the tissues were sampled and they contained high amounts of microplastics and those were linked with more severe carotid artery placking and more severe atherosclerosis. So now we have this in the penile tissue in individuals who have erectile dysfunction. So again, if you're still using or drinking out of plastic water bottles, please stop. If you're getting Starbucks or coffee and, and having those disposable cups, please stop. Bring your own ceramic cup in or cast iron or stainless steel cup. Do We need to be more intentional about this because you do not want your penile tissue to be dysfunctional because it's infiltrated with microplastics. And we're gonna to continue to dive into the findings of the study and hear what the investigators have to say. But first, I just wanna say thank you all for being here. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. If you are, please hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and please check out this video show sponsor, bondcharge.com, the makers of a range of different health promoting tools, including the infrared sauna blanket, which we've talked a lot about. I think that's an amazing tool that you can use at home to support detoxification. But one tool that I've been using a lot in the last five years is their red light therapy devices. Bond Charge makes some of the lowest EMF yet most powerful red light therapy devices, which recently published studies have shown can increase collagen biosynthesis. We've known for a long time that red light therapy devices can help with mitochondrial health. I've used these tools again over the past several years to help with soft tissue injury recovery and even help support testosterone levels. You have to use these red light therapy devices very close to the genitalia and to any site that you wanna optimize the mitochondrial functioning of. But please go to bondcharge.com forward slash HIH to save on a wide array of health promoting tools, including the red light and near infrared light therapy devices from Bond Charge. They are amazing, especially for hair, skin, nail, and soft tissue injury recovery. So back to the study. The title of this study, which was published in the International Journal of Impotence Research just several days ago here in June of 2024, is Detection of Microplastics in the Human Penis. Now, we're going to get into the details, but I just want to mention, if this doesn't motivate people to stop consuming hot liquids out of disposable coffee cups, to stop drinking out of plastic water bottles, to stop consuming processed packaged food wrapped in single-use plastic, I don't know what will. Because we know that plastics are inherently hard. Now, some plastics are soft. Some plastics are a little bit harder than others. For example, in supplement bottles, the HDPE, very hard. I'm not worried about that leaking into your supplements or into your food, for example. But the soft plastics that are able to break off into debris and get into your food, especially when you combine heat with plastic. So you have water, heated water, coffee, tea, things like that, that get into 
the liquids and then you drink them and they are absorbed in the gastrointestinal tract. And recently published studies have actually found that facial coverings are a significant contributing factor to the total body burden of microplastics. So if you're still wearing face masks, please. I mean, unless you're working in the, in the emergency room treating very, very sick patients or some such thing, uh, these facial coverings are also another significant source of microplastic body burden. And we've talked about that at length and questioning why we're putting these on children because these plastics can be deposited as we've recently uh, reviewed here in the carotid artery plaque, probably the coronary artery plaque, possibly in the brain. And now we know in the testicles as well as the penile tissue. Not good because again, 100% of the individuals going in to get this penile prosthetic device and incidentally were found to have high concentrations of microplastic particles, polyethylene, phthalates, and so forth, as you can see from figure two, which I'll put right here on the screen. That is linked with obviously erectile dysfunction. So friends, it's time to stop consuming microplastic particles and please stop consuming ultra processed packaged junk food, chips, cookies, crackers, uh, all of the candy and so forth, that thin plastic, you add any heat to that or crinkling, it's going to probably off gas and, and break apart into your food. And as this study found, majority of the microplastic particles and phthalates were less than 100 micrometers. And uh, this is, I think, again, people used to think, well, the plastics have to be really large for us to absorb them. No, they have been detected as small as 25 micrometers. So now is the time to ditch those plastic water bottles. Invest in a stainless steel tumbler where you can bring your water to work or the uh, gym. Uh, and uh, when you go to Starbucks or coffee, uh, go out for coffee, ask and request for a ceramic coffee cup that will help you minimize your exposure. And please don't microwave any you know, fast food or, or Lunchables or things like that uh, in the, the TV dinners, You know, throwing those in the microwave, really bad idea. So friends, I would love to know what you think of this video. I appreciate your likes, your comments, your shares. We will catch you on a future one down the road and I will also link that video in the description below. That's a great related video that you may enjoy. Until then, we'll catch you on a future video down the road.